Hey guys, Average Man here reviewing Transformers War for Cybertron Smokescreen. I'm not gonna say Siege this time because I'm not sure it's part of the Siege subline. If it is, it is. If it's not, it's not. But it's part of the Generation Selects subline as far as we know. And with Smokescreen, and we got some hair. I don't know why they have hair there because this was a sticker I took off, so hair fell on it. But here's the package it comes in. It comes in that Generation Selects graffiti graffitified. That is a word now. Put it in Urban Dictionary. And Transformers War for Cybertron. No siege whatsoever. Unless that says siege. But that probably says War for Cybertron. Graffiti there. Authentic. So you know it's good. And hairy. Uh, stick, sticky. It's smoke screen. Bottom of the box, nothing. Warnings on this side, up here, War for Cybertron. Part of the uh, Autobot symbol there, nothing in the back. Wanna look inside? This is how it looks inside, haha. -ha. The honeycomb hideout. But enough about that, we'll put this aside, let's close it up and put that aside. And here is Smokescreen. And he is a recolor of Prow, but he has more guns because why not? He is a, I guess, a fast car is supposed to be that makes smoke screens. We'll put these aside for now. And yeah, just like Prowl, just different colors. Let's see, I don't know what that means. Got the Autobot symbol there. Is that the same signal? Uh, yeah, that is the same. Same hieroglyphics. So I wonder what that means. Tell me in the comments if you know. Or make up your own thing. Nice headlights. And by headlights I mean none because it just it's just indented. It looks like at first glance it did look like there was a like a plastic covering, but no, it's deep in deep within. Mm-hmm. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright here, coming up here. Translucent plastic, so you can see the insides. Wheels, turn, because it's a car. Cars roll, they've been known to roll. Mm -hmm. Not bad, not bad at all. Down here, whoa, there's smoke screen. Hi, how you doing? And, yeah, here he is with the same mode, prowl. Same mode, same thing. Same designs there too. It's just the paint job is different. Are the wheels the same? Uh, the wheels are the same. It just took a while, like different parts. Actually, you know what? Is it the same? Uh, it's the same design, but here the axle—no, not the axle. The I guess the rim. You want to call it? It's clear plastic. This is not clear plastic. The same design. Everything else is the same. Even the insides look the same. Just the extra piece for the light bar. And... Whoop. Different head sculpt. They still have the... The red horns. Or over here, yellow horns. But it's different. Totally different. You just like the horns. So, for comparison, of course, it's the same car. How else are you going to compare with that? I'll put that aside for now. And let's transform them, shall we? It's a transformer. Of course we shall transform them. So, we'll come over here. We will open the door for you. Come over here. You see, we've got pegs right here. And down here, we'll go there and up there. Open that up. Just unpeg it. Open that up. Nice. Come over here. Now we're gonna untab some things right here. As you can see, we'll just unhinge this out. Like that, as such. Come down here. These, the bumper, the rear bumper will be the feet slash toes. Ta-da. Split the legs, split the legs and the feet, because at the feet 
they peg in you see right there to that hole and then on the sides of the the glass quote glass <laughs> win, uh, the right window or the right rear window I can't talk they connect come over here just turn out the waist and there you go got his lower half done come over here we shall raise this arm and then turn that way same thing you could also start with this arm and dangle to that arm the choice is yours I'll leave you to that okay over here this piece we shall unfold it like that and straighten it out like that so now we come over here you see the you see this blue ring around that center peg on the other side as well as such you just unpeg that so the peg will go into that blue ring on both sides from the other side what you could just poke this through like as such hello finger fold this down you have a little crevice in the back right there you just fold that in in there and you're gonna push that in this whole assembly will fold down if you need to have them look up a bit to give them clearance and should if everything's lined up correctly uh, he keeps looking down why are you looking down hmm? if done correctly it should should hmm, maybe I turn his head sideways backwards why is it why isn't it going in it always works off camera Maybe a little force. No, not force. I could feel it right there. Right. All right. I, I feel it now. If you want to, don't push it all the way in and do that. Then everything should go in. There you go. You don't force this all the way in first. That doesn't how. That's not how it works with trowel. Hmm. Maybe the mold is degrading. And you will just clip this in down here as such now we come over here these wheels will go on the back side so we turn that in bring the arms down a little shorter straighten that out this side as well bring that down complete that as I said shoulder ports are a good indicator to tell you where they should go and that is that is smokescreen his wings you could angle them however you see fit you want to have them flat like that flat like that or at an angle the choice is yours and the instructions say with his accessories put these blasters in these crevices right here so yeah shoulder mount blasters and here's his gun pew pew so there's no other way to hold these two because there's no peg it's just a slot like that or a thin peg thin so no you can't hold them in the arms can you I think you can actually yeah you can if you choose to it fits fits rather nice so just ignore that part <laughs> that I just said. But the official, we're going with the official instructions for now. And this easy deluxe smoke screen. And I like it. I like it. He doesn't want to stand. Why doesn't he want to stand? Oh, yes. Another step. Come down here. He does have ankle uh, heels, of course. So he could stand. Bring these out. They're like that bring these out and it perfect for the rocket boots as well we'll come back here for the weaponizer now he could stand now we're cooking and just for a quick comparison here he is with covert clone side swipe about the same size here he is with voyager class Soundwave, 
Again, Soundwave is bigger. His head's off screen. And let's look at the any articulation. His head is on a ball joint, so he does have a little wiggle to it. You can turn his head all the way around if he chooses to. The blasters are in the way. His shoulder could go out that far. Let's spin around. And you could either have him bend his, his arm this way. Or you want to keep this shoulder down. Actually, no. It won't go that way. So it looked it look like it could. But this panel doesn't pan out. <laughs> All the way around. He does have a bicep swivel. Oh. Thing fell off. Huh. Elbow joint. Of course. Goes out that far. 90 degrees that way. Wrist swivel. He does have wrist rotation. Coming down here at the waist. He does. Right below his belt line. Go all the way around if you like. Legs. High mobility. He do the splits. Front kick that far. Whoa. Could kick yourself in the head with his own heel that far. Splits. He does, doesn't have a thigh rotation, but just the way the joint works, you could turn that way. Technically, I think you could go all the way at that far. Or actually a little bit more. Whoa, why would you do that? The choice is yours. Whatever pose you want to do with your toy, it's all totally up to you. He does have knee joint. And he does have ankle tilt. Let's do a little jig. So yeah, let's take a look at him. Mm-hmm. Not bad. All smoke screeny. No battle damage that I could see. Mm-hmm. Nice detail there. Let's see the, on, the insides. Prowl had the little Autobot symbol somewhere right here, but not on this guy. I'm looking at the back. He does look so skinny, kind of. He's a thin boy, but he's also a wide boy. He wants to be both. Hollow legs, eh, who cares? I don't really care that much. I know there's always a third party manufacturers that for certain figures they make like little clips you could put in there to just cover up uh, any holes mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. not bad he could fly not really maybe I'm not sure Cybertronian technology is a mystery to us humans so regular uh, really really simple transformer as for blast points he does have two in the shoulder on the forearm as well actually not, not in this forearm, only on this forearm he can only get shot right here mm, nothing down on the legs, so yep shoot him in the shoulder, shoulder, forearm, that's it anywhere else, nope, I cannot shoot him no battle damage alright, and that's Smokescreen again, he's a Generation Selects Figures, so you won't find them in stores. Just find them with your online toy retailer, and that's pretty much it for Smokescreen. Again, if you want them for your collection of early era Autobots, by all means. Until next time, this is Average Man saying, "See ya."